A new scientific discovery is going to change people's lives. Scientists have finally created lab-grown vaginas. Which is a huge development for women everywhere. Oh yeah, I guess women can use them too. Yeah, Ross. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here with a special guest visiting from the SourceFed team in LA, Ross Everett. Thanks for coming to talk about vaginas, Ross. Well, I figured I was going to be talking about them anyway. Might as well get it on camera. Yay, I can get down with that. Phrasing. So, the news has broken that four young girls who are given lab-grown vaginas are doing very well eight years after the surgery. The girls needed new vaginas because they were born with Meyer Rokitansky Kuster Hauser syndrome, or MRKH if you want to get confusing with it. This is a condition which results in an underdeveloped reproductive system. So the scientists at Wake Forest Baptist Medical were like, hey, let's grow some vaginas because our garden is lacking. The canal was grown using epithelial cells from their external genitals, aka the vulva, which is sometimes confused with the vagina, yes. but vagina inside, vulva outside, which incidentally is a great meditation if you're looking for one. Ross, I'm actually really impressed with your vulva versus vagina knowledge. It's kind of like a little sex ed pet peeve of mine. So it's actually pretty crazy how the scientists managed to pull this off. They extracted the cells and then grew more of them over several weeks until they had enough to layer them on a biodegradable material. To quote the scientists, like layers on a cake. Finally a reason to watch Cake Boss. Mm. Those beautiful cakey scaffolds created by the material were then hand sewn to fit each patient and implanted into their body. After a few months the material dissolved leaving only the vaginal muscle tissue, nerves and blood vessels which had grown from the initial cells. Bam! Vagina! Bam! Emerald Lagasse! Bam! I'm not gonna eat this. Good idea, actually. So they're normally functioning vaginas in all the normal ways that you would hope a vagina would function. The patients share the common experiences of desire, arousal, satisfaction, and orgasm. They're menstruating, and the scientists believe it's possible that a few of them could even get pregnant if they wanted. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh, there's nothing more beautiful than the female orgasm, or so I've heard. It's uh, heard the same, actually. But it's not only beautiful, it's scientifically significant. This success has awesome implications for vaginal cancers, injuries, and possibly even sex reassignment. I mean, it has implications for regenerative medicine as a whole. You know, the science of growing body parts, including some holes. Yeah, I'm really excited to live in the 21st century. Uh, I'm all about the dark ages. Think about the hide-and-go-seek opportunities. You know, I don't think it was literally dark. Just throwing that out there. Tomato, tomato. Alrighty, folks. If you want to learn about other body parts grown in labs, check out the latest episode of Anywho. The link is right here on the screen if you want to check it out. And in the comments, do tell us what parts you hope scientists will grow next.